When I saw this, I was like, fuck yeah, Nordic, Viking, <laughs> badass, uh, Skyrim, Dova King, like, <laughs> let's go slay some dragons and shit. Welcome to another episode of Let's Have Some Beer. My name is Jacob. I'm Jeff, and today we're reviewing a very special beer. I got this beer sent to me by Beer Zombies. If you guys know who that is, then you know what's up in the craft beer community. Uh, this beer comes all the way from Norway. <laughs> yes, that's right, Norway. This is a collaboration beer with Beer Zombies and a a uh, very popular home brewer in Norway by the name of Westam. I'm not going to pronounce your last name, but I'm just going to put it somewhere in here somewhere so you guys can see his name. Um, I mean, for beer zombies to brew with this guy, he must make some pretty amazing beers. I've been following the process of this beer since it was conceptualized. The second I saw this can art, which came out before the beer was even brewed. I sent a message to beer zombies and I said, I have to have this. <laughs> I need to have this. How can I have this? And I've been bugging him every day since then. Uh, lucky enough, he was kind enough to send this beer to me and crazy enough, uh, this beer was brewed in Norway. It was shipped to the US and only I think it was one case made it. Like, there's like 24 of this beer in existence in the United States. If, if there's more than that, it's not much more. I, I can tell you that right now. But anyways, let's introduce you to the beer. This is called Draugr. It is a double IPA at 8.8%. Obviously, it's going to be a hazy, let's be real. Um... They do put uh, the ingredients on here, which I really appreciate. I just want to point out more than anything the hot bill on this. It's Mosaic, Mosaic Cryo, and my favorite Galaxy. So yeah, Galaxy is in this. They are using some, it looks like, some experimental yeast in here as well, which is going to be really fun. Uh, brewed October 9th, canned October 5th, and today is... December 11th? I want to say it's December 11th, so about a month later. Um, more than anything, I mean, let's talk about the can real quick. Uh, <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, fuck yeah, Nordic, Viking, <laughs> badass, uh, Skyrim, Dova King, like, <laughs> let's go slay some dragons and shit. Like, that's the first thing I thought about this. What about you, Jacob? Oh yeah, as soon as I saw the name Draugr, I was just like, wow, I suddenly had the <laughs> strong urge to play Skyrim yeah. and just kill some undead. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a pretty badass uh, artwork on there. You got some Celtic knots, some really great like wood shieldings and some axes. Uh, pretty fucking metal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I am super stoked to crack this open and tell you guys what we think. Jacob, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's have some beer. All right guys, the beer is poured. Go ahead and check it out. That definitely smells appropriate to style. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. Let me just tell you guys when I was pouring this out of the can, wow. It was just straight up on your nose. You know the funny thing is, is it smells still very light and yeah. all you get is a hop aroma. Like yeah. literally, I'm only getting hop aroma on this. 
God. Are you ready? No, not yet. I just want to. I ah. just want to. Sorry, guys. I just want to live in this. Okay. I live in this right. for a minute. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, no, I'm ready. All right, let's go in for the taste. Cheers. Oh. That's nice. Yeah. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. Fantastic malt presence. Very silky mouthfeel. Just a beautiful bouquet of different hot flavors. You get everything from citrus to tropical, a little bit of earthiness, beautiful, mild, bitter finish, but it's not sticking on your palate in a way that seems like it's overwhelming, but it's there. It's nice. It, it, this is like a beer you can stop and enjoy for a while. Yeah. And 8.8%. Oops. <laughs> it's almost triple territory. We've talked about this before. Yeah, I would say um, for 8.8%, it's not bad. Um, I think I've definitely mentioned before, once you start getting like 9, it just starts getting a bit too heavy. Yeah. This is, it definitely pulled it right before it gets too heavy, um, which is definitely a good thing. Uh, it's, it's definitely very punchy. It's got a lot of flavor. Um, it's kind of punchy on the palate, which is, can be good and bad. Like it's good because I definitely get that flavor. It's not like it's watery or anything. Um, it can, can be maybe a little bit something that, uh, like maybe after I've had a whole can of it, I don't know if I'm immediately going to have another can. Um, I don't know. What about you? How do you feel about that? Um, I mean, for me at 8.8%, this is very enjoyable. For sure. Um, if this was a starter beer, I don't know if I would want this as the first beer I'm going to have. Hmm. Okay. This would probably fall on one of the last beers I'm going to have. Just because of the higher ABV. Um, it definitely tastes imperial. Like it definitely tastes like a double yeah. ordering on triple. There's yeah. no booziness. It's just, it's potent. It's strong. This is a bold beer. We were yeah. talking about the aroma. It shoots out at you. The flavor is very much similar, but here's my thing. Everything I'm tasting in this, I love. I love. Uh, Weston, dude, uh, I've been a home brewer for a few years. I'm sure you got more experience than I do, but I just gotta like commend you on the beauty and the color of this IPA too. It's just incredible. So what I, I've been reading on this can and just uh, found interesting is this, uh, as far as I can tell, it doesn't seem like this was brewed at a brewery. It probably brewed at the guy's house. No, it was a home yeah. brew, for sure. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, it doesn't taste like I'm just drinking some dude's hazy home brew. Yeah, not at um, all. This is a professional home brew. Uh, yeah, that's, that that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's very cool, actually. Um... <laughs> Yeah, just just saying that it's brewed in Norway, cans filled with a uh, Blickman beer gun. So I don't even know what that brand is. And then uh, it's sealed with an MK nineteen point two can steamer. So I mean, this seems like very uh, essentially like low tech. Um, this was made with, and that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, another thing to note is like uh, some of the beers we've had that were hazy that were brewed at actual production breweries we get some weird floaties we've seen we've seen some interesting things yeah. um nothing in this one <laughs> no no it's beautifully done uh, yeah and it's still hazy too um yeah so they're not just banking on like a bunch of trub or yeah or, so you know, that's particulate another thing that i kind of trying to like i was trying to sink in it was like wait this is just some dude made this with beer zombies and not at a brewery and this has been shipped to America, and it still tastes good. <laughs> um, and this can also has some dents in it, which I know, like, 
for traders, sometimes that's things that like, they watch out for, like, oh, you didn't pack it hard enough, or like, I don't know, there's like, the traders get really touchy about some shit. Um, and it still came out presentable, so I think that's kind of uh Yeah, it, it didn't ruin the integrity of the yeah. beer, and it's not like it's really effed up or anything, mm -hmm. so. Uh, wow, okay, so let's get into scoring. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with Aroma. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I gotta give it a 10. Uh, anytime I pour a beer and I smell it before I actually try to smell it, that's a very good sign. And on top of that, Mosaic, Galaxy, those are right up my alley. So everything that I got out of that Aroma was right where I want it to be. And it was straight up pop aroma, so yeah, kudos to you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm giving this a 10. Uh, how about you for aroma? Um, I think I'm actually going to go with an 8. Okay. Um, not that anything was necessarily wrong with it. 8's still really solid. There's plenty of beers that I've loved that I've given 8. Um, I just felt it was right in that range for me, personally. Um, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I know. It's always weird to give like a lower score after someone's given it a higher score, but I just I just felt hey, it was perfect. Hey, honest so. is honest, right? Let's be real. Okay, so when it comes into the flavor I'm gonna give it a nine. Uh I love I love 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 the flavor of the mosaic and uh and galaxy hops that come out of this. It's just sweet pineapple, citrus, a little blueberry in there, like peach, just all kinds of good stuff. And it's got this nice little bitter finish on your tongue. And it sits there. It doesn't overwhelm your palate, but it's just there. Uh, I don't know, I like, I like how it kind of plays out. So I'm gonna give it a nine. I mean, it didn't blow my mind. This wasn't life-changing, but it was very, <laughs> It's very, very good. So, yeah, nine for me. Uh, how about you, Jacob? I think I'm going to give it another eight. Um, it was really good, and I'm still just kind of trying to get over the fact that this is essentially a well-packaged homebrew. Because, <laughs> um, I don't know, I mean, it was, like, flown across the ocean to get here. Um, yeah, this came from Norway again, guys. This came from Norway. Yeah, and once again, like, I know there are breweries in Norway that I'm sure send... Uh, America beer all the time, but this is not a brewery. <laughs> yeah. um, I really got to appreciate the amount of work the beer zombies did to just make this beer happen. Yeah. Um, he easily could have said no. It's too much trouble, you know. Um, I feel like if somebody from Norway reached out to me to brew a beer, if I'd be like, <laughs> "You're crazy." <laughs> Come to the um, U.S., sure, but yeah, I ain't going there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little cold. bit of a lazy person sometimes, so uh, <laughs> I just, I really gotta say, job well done, guys. <laughs> yeah. You know, this, uh, yeah, this took a lot of effort, and the fact that it came out well is, uh, you should be commended for it. Yeah. Yes. All right. So when it comes down to, would we ever buy it again? Uh, I think the answer is quite obvious because we can't buy it again. This is probably the only time Draugr will ever be in existence. And this is more to show off to you guys just how cool I am. <laughs> I mean, the, J Jacob called it me swinging my dick around. Uh, <laughs> that's basically what this is. Your craft beer. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I couldn't even be close to lucky enough to get my hands on this beer again in even if it existed in any way shape or form my guess is, is it still would not be attainable to me easily um but let's just hypothetically say that this was on tap at a brewery or at a bar or whatever yeah <laughs> yeah i'd drink it again oh yeah i mean th this is this is solid um I will tell you that I would definitely need to eat a lot of food beforehand mm, okay. because this is a beer that I wouldn't want one of, although if you are on an empty stomach and you're drinking more than one of these, you're <laughs> going to die. <laughs> uh, some danger. Yeah. So, um, so for me, yeah, I, I would want to anticipate that. But yeah, I mean, I, I would drink it again, but let's be real, it's not possible. Uh, so yeah. Uh, how about you, Jacob? 
Um, this has made me really curious about that Norwegian brewer. Uh, I, I don't really know too much about craft beer in that region of Europe, um, or if, if they consider themselves Europe. Um, I, I don't know. That's, you guys have been. Anyways, uh, yeah, I, I'd definitely be very curious to look into that and just to see what else you are doing, what else you can do. Um, yeah, and then of course, beers on me. I haven't had too many beers of his like collaborations, but when I do have them, they usually end up being very good and very tasty. So I would definitely have another of each of their creations. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, there you have it. That is our review of Draugr Double IPA. It's a collaboration between uh, a home brewer by the name of Westham and Beer Zombies. Um, thank you so much, Beer Zombies, for sending me this beer. I really appreciate it. I've waited so long for it to come out, and uh, it makes me so happy to know that I have it in my hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> God, I can't tell you guys. I've been looking at this label for months just going, Jesus, I need that beer in my life. <laughs> um, so, yes, thank you so much for sending this to me. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please give us a thumbs up. Share with your friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, hit the bell. The bell basically will give you an alert every time a new episode comes out, just like this one. So that way you don't have to go looking for it. And... Uh, if you guys don't know who Beer Zombies is, you should definitely check him out. Uh, I'll leave his information or his Instagram link below, as well as Westham's uh, Instagram link below. Um, these guys made an incredible beer, and uh, you know, every Dova King out there should be proud. <laughs> I know I am super happy that I got my hands on it, and a beer from Norway made it to me, and it wasn't spoiled and it still tastes delicious and <laughs> yeah god that makes me so happy anyways thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'm jeff and i'm jacob and we'll see you again on let's, let's have, have some, some beer. beer cheers <laughs> <laughs>